All right, I just hit the button. All right, let me know when you see the stream. Okay, there is an ad. Ad is playing. pop out my chat once I get the chat popped out then we can go ahead and go I think we are live already <laughs> <laughs> yeah we probably are all right hi everybody <laughs> hey what's up Jay Wade what do you do man hey you guys let me know right now if we can hear it what's up Kevin what's going on everybody Armani V. Hey, what's happening with you, bro? We got Valerie in the house. Uh, Gold Mine. Let's see, we got Aeon uh, Flux in the house. Ty. Man, we got, hey, everybody seems to be coming in. <laughs> hey, so this is what we're going to do right now. I'm getting ready to go ahead. Devana. All right. Bear Ball. Oh, excuse me. Bear Ball. Bore. Bear Board. New to the channel and loving it. Hey, thank you, thank you. Soul food cooking. Hey, what do you do? So look, ain't nobody saying they can't hear me. So listen, they can hear me. You know what? I don't want to okay. hog it. I'm gonna go ahead and pop out this chat and introduce yourself, Alicia. Yeah, hi everybody. So so excited to see so many of you joining. And um, yeah, it's my my first live, so I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> I hope I hope you excuse me that. Um, I am in Germany, so we are doing some connections of cultures here with AB. And um, yeah, I hope you will have as much fun as we are going to have creating the cupcake. Oh, yeah. Hey, you know what? Uh, hey, you guys, take it easy on her. Listen, it's her first time, you know, going live. As she just stated, you know what? It's going to be a little different. Uh, you want to talk about something different? Listen, I'm supposed to be in Texas right now. Uh, just from whatever happened, now I'm back here at the house. I uh, left my webcam out that way. Haven't went and picked it up yet. But the funny thing is, went to go start it right now, and I'm telling her, hey, we can't start on time because I don't think we're going to be able to, uh, I can't even get no video. So I had to, like, reconfigure the whole thing. We had a whole bunch of stuff, you know, laid out for you guys. But listen, we got the gist of it. I see her. She just keeps smiling, you know, and then we're going to go from there. Let me go ahead and change my size right here. Hey, Jay Wade, this, hey, you know this is the time when I'll be right you're supposed to tell me everything that we're supposed to be doing right now. But I'm going to go ahead and get my size right. You know, and I'll go from there. Great seeing all the, all the comments. Thank you so much <laughs> for everyone who's supporting and saying I shouldn't be nervous. I think once we get going and I guess it's pre creating those cupcakes, decorating the cupcakes, it's going to all be smooth and <laughs> I'll be in my element. So. All right. But thank you so much for the support comments. I'm looking down because I have my phone here to read the comments. So. Okay. Hey, Journey. Hey, Journey's Diary. Hey, what's happening? I see you all green. I see everything you're doing. You're saying awesome. Ready to see the uh, the end results of the cupcakes. Okay. No problem. We're going to get started in just one second. Then we got uh, C Pain. And then we got Billy Jean. Billy Jean, what is that? Uh, you know what, y'all? I got to wear these little Walmart specials. I'm going to have to figure this out. All right. New subby. Love the content. Hey, Billie Jean 327 Hey, we appreciate that. That's what's up. Hey, again, just want to say, hey, thank you. Thank you guys for all the love. Everybody that's in here, don't forget to smash that like button while you're here. You know, and uh, we finna get started. Now, you guys seen, hey, Kev, where you at, man? Did I say your name? Kev, I saw you in here somewhere. Matter of fact, drop a uh, comment. Let me fix you up real fast. Uh, Kev, Kev, I'm looking for you right now. There it is. <laughs> there you go, Kev. I just fixed it up for you. Let me go ahead and catch up with my phone. I'm sure everybody sending me texts. All right. So let me just let you know how this works right here. Elisa, you got to control me. 
you know what I mean? Like, I can start talking and then I'll just I'll go <laughs> stop. So listen, it's okay for you to put up something in front of the screen, wave your hand, say, hey, bro, I got to talk. So you guys know, listen, in the kitchen with Elisa, she um, coming to us live right now via, uh, you know, her, her camera set up and she's in Germany. So what we're going to do is we're going to make, you know, Halloween cupcakes. And what's the thing? You want to show your uh, finished product right now? Uh, yeah, I have some cupcakes here. So I made some slightly different decorations for mine. So AB will show his. I made some fondant eyes. Can you guys see the cupcake? And I can show you some of the eyes. So it's fondant. And there's a story also you can actually see how to make these eyes as well, if you're interested. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to make the cream. We're going to show you how to make the cream on the cupcake, then make the blood, and then AB has some really cool decorations for his cupcakes, and I'm going to decorate mine with the eyes. Now, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and piggyback off of what you just said right there. You just said you're going to have a video. When are you going to release your video? Uh, the video for the eyeballs is already uh, up, so it's on my channel. Actually, I didn't mention <laughs> my channel. My channel is In the Kitchen with Elisa, and I have the tutorial already there for the eyeballs. So if you want to see how to make them, you can um, see the video, find the video <laughs> on my channel already. All right. Uh, hey, and, and to add to that also... I'm going to go ahead and show mine. I finished mine, you know, this morning. And the reason I pre-made them like that, because I wanted to have my video to release right after this, uh, right after this live. Now, we're going to run this live. It'll probably run for about an hour. Uh, that's the, the set time we have, just one hour. We're going to show you. I'm going to let her do all the cooking, because if both of her, she and I, we start running mixers, listen to this. Okay. And I can only imagine with her running her mixer on her end, it's going to be very, very loud. Now, at the end of this, at about 11.30, I already have it with uh, pre-release. I'm going to have my own video. It'll show how I made it. Listen, it's going to be a little lengthy, you guys. It's about, it's almost 20 minutes. The longest video I ever made. It probably took me about five hours to film that. You know, you know, we're waiting for the glass to, you know, well, I had to wait for the glass to, uh, anyway, I don't want to, I don't want to spoil it. I'm going to show it to you, and then we're going to talk about it in this, uh, in this live right here. So, I'm going to go ahead. Turn it over to Elisa. You can go ahead and get started. And then uh, I'm okay. going to go ahead and just get mine out of the refrigerator and just show my final uh, product. Great. So what I have here is um, some cupcakes. I will share the recipes for both of these cupcakes on my channel. Uh, one will probably be uh, this week, so maybe Wednesday. So I'd want to subscribe on In the Kitchen with Elisa. So I have some chocolate cupcakes um, that I made, and um, I'm going to fill, well, we'll see <laughs> what we are going to do now, but what I did for the video, which will come, I filled the cupcake with some cherries, and then I did the cream on top, and then also the blood kind of decoration. But I wanted to test if it's going to work also with some cream cheese, cream cheese frosting, or only buttercream, because I usually do buttercream. So this time I made these with cream cheese frosting and actually it worked. So if you want to check that out, that will be up on Wednesday. Well, <laughs> sorry, Wednesday next week. So I have some chocolate cupcakes here and some vanilla ones. So if you feel free to stop me <laughs> when you have your um, cupcakes ready. So here are some vanilla ones. And then I've also prepped some um, buttercream. No. Now, the reason we decided to go ahead and let Alicia go ahead and uh, do this, because listen, she's much, much more efficient, and I'm learning so much from her as far as uh, the baking game goes, you know, just letting her do her thing. So, you know what, it's easy for her to do it. She's going to be, you know, way faster than me, you know, but we got two different, uh, I made red, red velvet uh, cupcakes, and these are it right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. I had it in the refrigerator, but these it. And you know what? I went with the glass shards. You know, I kind of like that right there. 
really, really nice. <laughs> I um, love it. Hey, you know what? It would have been nice to put both of these out. You know, with them eye eyeballs, that would have been uh, that would have been right. Okay, so I'm gonna show a little trick. I'm just checking whether you guys can see it. Whenever I fill uh, a piping bag, what I do is I use um, a mug, and then I put the piping bag, or actually a glass. I put it like this, and then it's like, easier for me to fill um, the buttercream into the piping bag. You know what I forgot? Being all nervous and everything. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I forgot my piping tip, so that's something we went at first. I don't actually know which one I should use. Which one should I use? Uh, I don't know. Whichever one. Right? I use the one with, the, with like the fingers. That's the one that I use. Okay. Let's use the similar one. Sorry for the sound. It'll be okay. At least, listen, we was all a nervous wreck when we first started. It'll get easier. <laughs> I don't know. Can you see this one? Here, let me do it like this. Look, look at that, Elisa. Elisa? Yeah? All right, look. Take a look at your screen. That's you... really small. Huh? That's really small. Yeah, but that's the one that came in the kit. But you know oh. what I found? Like, when I hold it far away, it worked out just fine. You know, it, it became bigger. Okay. Okay, so probably you would want to use a bigger one, like, um, I don't know if you can see mine, or a bit bigger. Yeah, yours are bigger. But I'm going to show now. So I'm just showing the buttercream into the piping bag. If you guys have any questions, <laughs> just type in and we'll try to not miss. Okay. So I have the buttercream now in here, the American buttercream, and just checking where you can see. So I'm going to give you some tips <laughs> on how to perfect the piping. So what you want to do is you don't want to press the um, piping bag into the cupcake, but rather you want to hold it up and then kind of just allow the cream to um, fall onto the cupcake, like this. Okay. Oh, I see you got a oh. cameraman, the whole shebang, huh? You're getting a closer. <laughs> hey, what's up, Snoopy Eats? Hey, I just saw, hey, Ray Mac, what's good with you, fam? So, like this. I'm gonna do another one. She just say, hey everybody. Donna G, what's good? Baton Rouge, we got, hey, we got the Southerners in there. See, that's the tip that I need. But this kit that I got, it didn't have no tip that big, unless I use a big round one. Okay, okay. Did you also make, um, what kind of buttercream did you make? Uh, just a regular uh, buttercream. Which I have. Oh, yeah. Okay, Google. Set a timer for 45 minutes. Sure, 45 minutes. So then, um, should I show how to make the blood? What do you think, AB? Uh, you can do the, yeah, you can do the blood. Yes, I have some ready here. I'm going to show you. Oh, you, yeah, you know what? I have some, too. I mean, I can make the blood. It was so easy to do. You know? This was it right here, you guys. So, show it. So, let me ask you this. How did, what ingredients did you use to make your uh, blood? Um, I made some um, jam. So, because I made the filling, like a jam, um, a jam, <laughs> but I made the cherry for these uh, cupcakes, the chocolate cupcakes. Mm -hmm. 
for the video that will come on uh, Wednesday. So I, when I boil, boil the cherries, I have some like liquid left over. It's not really, really like runny liquid, but it's kind of like a syrup. So I started off mixing that syrup with some powdered sugar. And then uh, I actually had to add some water because the syrup was pretty thick. But it gives some taste to the, um, um, to the blood. <laughs> so it's going to taste like cherry. And then I added just a little bit of water. So it's very simple. Um, and then I added a little bit of food color because I wanted to change the color. Because usually when you mix jam or um, juice, with the powdered sugar, it gives you like a really pale color. And then I added some color to make it like really dark. Okay. But this one was actually a bit too runny to my liking. Right. So, so, to make it. so how many ingredients was that that you put in there? Because I got a simple recipe for that and you're going to laugh. First of all, look at this and you'll see that this is my consistency that I have. You know what I mean? It's thick. Yeah. Look like it's starting to clot. This is perfect. Not too runny, right? Now, yeah, it's looking I'm gonna good. Let me show you. Look at this. This is all the ingredients I use. I use this light corn syrup, this K Ro. Okay. Hey, how many of y'all out here know about this K Ro? I use some Hershey, you know, chocolate uh, syrup. And this right here, you know what? This is some uh, red dye. Oh. Cormac's red dye. Th those three things, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, I can make that up. We can just make it and get it in. And again, I'm yep. going to just show you. See if I can get it to focus a little bit. Yeah, real nice. Was the glass part to make for the for the cupcake? No, it was not. I'm going to show. I'm going to get to that part after you start. Uh, after you go just a little bit further. But the glass is is oh. real cool. The glass was actually easy. Now, what's tricky about the glass is. You got to get it up to 300 degrees. If you don't get yeah. it up to 300 degrees, it won't never get thick enough. Hey, Terry. Hey, half, hashtag uh, campaign for me. Hey, listen, we got a star in the house, y'all. Terry Evelyn Clean. Listen, she just went and did a book signing yesterday. Hey, talk to us and tell us. I know it's a success. Hey, thank you, Terry. Appreciate that. And Journey, what do you say? Uh, need those in my life. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but listen, the video will be out. You guys can make it real, real nice. Now, us in the States, we got this thing that we heard. And listen, it's an urban myth. Because I watched the show one night. Can't say that everything you see is true. But uh, all of us have heard some kid got some candy on Halloween that had a razor blade in it. But uh, just from what I know is and from watching that show, and then I started doing a little research looking around, there has never been a documented case where anybody has ever had went to the hospital with the razor blade and they food or nothing like that. So in my video, I asked how many people would take one of these from somebody if you came. Like, say you knocked on my door and I was like, oh, okay, trick or treaters. Let me give you one of these uh, bloody uh, cupcakes, which is really red velvet cake. How many people would take that and really eat it? All right, Ray Mack. LaShawn is saying we are uh, okay. making her hungry. <laughs> what up, T. Thomas? <clears throat> all right, it's all yours. You was on a roll. I'm sorry. I, I, I might have I might have cut cut the wind in your sails. Hey, who's your friend that's in here? Has she said anything? Your friend from New York. I don't know. We should ask her to, to greet us. I don't know if she, if she had time to join, but Alex, if you're there, just say hi. Yeah. So we can see. <laughs> yeah, I have a friend uh, living in New York at the moment. And my sister is also watching. I think she said already hi, Maria. I could show how to make the blood just to show how easy it is. I mean, your is really cool idea, but we don't have anything like that here in Europe. We, it's actually really interesting um, since we started talking with AB, we noticed that there's so much that is so different here in Germany and then in, in the US. So we kind of 
try to find a way to make it work for AB and for myself. And uh, yeah, it's interesting. So I wish I could have that corn syrup. And was it her Hershey's sauce? Okay. That you, yeah, but we don't have that here. So I have to use my homemade jam <laughs> with so powdered let, sugar. Let me ask you this. Uh, this corn syrup is nothing but, uh, it, it seems like, like glucose or something like that, like, like some kind of like sugar. Something okay. like you should be able to make that. You know, even though you can't buy it. Hey, look, I'm going to read some of these yeah. comments right here. Chandra said they would not take uh, Chandra. What is that? Tony? Tony? No, that's Tony, I think. Yeah. Hope yeah. that's right. That's said the, they wouldn't the, take no cooked food from a stranger, but would uh, make an exception for me. Hey, so that means I got to put a big screen <laughs> out on my porch and tell everybody, hey, you came to the house of the cooking channel. You know what I mean? <laughs> so this is what I'm giving out. You know what I mean? But if you didn't know me, I don't think nobody would. But, you know, uh, Terry put used to be back in the day, people made cookies and stuff to give to kids. Nowadays, it's too risky. Yeah, and it is sad. This is uh, very, 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 very true. Just the world we live in now, if it's not even, even if I sealed it up, somebody would probably have an issue. But you know what it makes for a uh, great, like if you're giving some kind of like party, you know what I mean, for all your, your kids, if you got kids and everybody coming to the house, you know, you can just send them off with this. Everybody can have something as they walk down the street. You know, uh, hey, going back to the blood, you were talking about you're going to show how to make it. You can do that. Yeah. But I was thinking yeah, to myself, I like, I was going to make the blood. And then I was going to show how I did the, uh, made the shards, the glass shards, which I'm going to show that in just one second. I'm going to show you guys one more time. Let me see. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> I wish I could grab through the screen yeah. and find it. You can see. I'm going to hold it this way so you can just see just how thick it is. You know, it's up to you. When you pour it, you know, the, when you cook it and you cook it down and it's nice and thick, it'll give you nice thick chunks like that. And don't forget, this is edible. You know what I mean? But you still want to take care, have some kind of precaution because you don't want to, you don't want to like cut your mouth or nothing like that. But it's not, not sharp like that. It just looks that way. And not break your teeth. <laughs> huh? It is my be quite uh quite thick. No, this is it right here. Here, here's a little piece that just slid. Here's a little small little piece. They look just like glass. You just break them. What I did was, you'll see in the video, I just took the pan like this and I just drop it on the counter and let it shatter. And then what didn't shatter, I took the back end of my butter knife and tapped it. I don't know. I'm going to try to get it where you guys can see it. Let's look right here. I'm going to tap it. And you can see it just shatters. Look, just like real glass. Then I take this. And I just lift it up. You know, you got to do a little work. And then they come up. If you got bigger pieces, you can just like prop it up and break it. And then you just insert them into the uh, cupcakes. But it's all good fun. Huh? But it's all good fun. To, to make that kind of decoration, so I think. Hey, Loretta, uh, Jenny said, I took it back old school <laughs> with the razor razor blades. Hey, you know what? And it was a trip, too, because I'm watching the show, and I, that got my juices going. Just when they said that's an urban myth, no one has ever been to the doctor for nothing like that. And then, look, it just put a scare across the country, and now nobody will take nothing from anybody. So, look, I'm going to turn on one more light. Should I just ask everybody, do you guys want to see how to make the blood, how easy and, and fast it is to make? And then I will just pour it over the cupcakes and then you'll show. You have some cupcakes to put the glass in. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And uh, you guys can't see it right here because all my stuff really is still in Texas, but I'm going to go get that. Uh, I got some cupcakes right here. You know, I'm going to say this part from what you told me, you know, when you were telling me about Making sure that when I make my cupcakes, I put the right amount inside of here. Because yeah. you can see some of them are different. You know, I got one over here. Look at this one. And look at this one. You yeah, see? yeah. Yeah. The best thing I, I think is to get like an ice cream scooper, which is like a perfect size. I don't know what if there is different size, but I have one that's perfect size for uh, a cupcake. So... I made all of these um, with um, 
I mean, with a cupcake. But <laughs> cupcake, no, it's been super. Okay. Should we make the plus? Yeah. Let's go ahead and do it. Oh, you know what? I'm going <laughs> to join you. I'm going to go ahead and join you. Just to show. Again, I'm going to show how we make this blood right here. So I'm going to add in just like well, as much as you need, I'm just going to add about two teaspoons of uh, powder sugar. And then I have that um, syrup thing <laughs> that I was talking about. But you could also use just uh, juice or some jam. But you want something that um, is a bit runny and I think something that has some taste. Because if you just make sugar with water, you can do that as well. But it's not going to taste like anything else than sugar. Then you just want to kind of stir it in, <laughs> show like this. So I'm just going to stir that in. And you're going to see it's really thick because um, the syrup that I made is really thick. So I have some water here as well that I'm just going to add in just a little bit. And you just stir it again. So you say you started out with jam, huh? Yeah. So actually, the color is not that bad. I mean, you could even do this without any food color. Can you see it? Yes. I can oh, the see color? It. It's pretty dark. I, I think, I mean, you could use it like this. But because I made some beforehand already, and this was a bit too runny, I'm just going to add in a little bit more of the... Um, powder sugar so I'm gonna stir it in again so when it's a bit well it's, <laughs> it's still quite runny but it's a bit thicker if the cupcakes are really cold so if you decorate them with uh, buttercream and then pop them in the fridge for a little bit so that the buttercream is cold, then um, the blood or the yeah the blood is gonna set a bit faster. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add in a little bit more. So this is something you can continue doing for like <laughs> very long. If it's too thick, then you can add a little bit of water and it becomes runny again. So. You can always fix it if it's not perfect from the first first try. So now that I've added a bit of the powdered sugar, I don't know if you can see, but the color has really changed. So, it's, I mean, I don't think it's really black color. It's like... No, I, yeah. You know what? It looks more... Uh, looking at it, it got like a... Yeah. Like bright pink, like... Kind of right. So that's why I have food color here. I have some red and then I have some blue. And I'm just going to add with a toothpick, I'm going to add a little bit of the red food color. I'm going to twist it up so that you can see. Let me know if, if you can, cannot really see. We can change the camera a bit. Hey, LaShawn, thank you. I appreciate that. You know what? I'm just trying to hold so, my own. Mixing in the food. Next to Elisa, because when I tell you, if you guys go by and check out her channel or you check out her uh, her Instagram, hey, you'll see why I'm trying to uh, be in, the, you know, be aligned with her because her her baking game is immaculate. All right, just to to try to catch up, you can, you can see. I did a tablespoon of the uh, corn syrup. That was a, a tablespoon and a half. So these, this is just a half a teaspoon. So I put three of that in here. Real easy. So look, I'm going to go ahead and address this part now. You hear the water running. You guys be hitting me up in the comments talking about AB. Ashy, my, that's because I wash as I go. You know, uh, <laughs> hey, you, you, you got to wash as you go. Now. Yeah. I'm running this, running out of this right here. Let's see if I can get it where to show. Anyway. 
Oh well. Is that the food okay. color? Yeah, that's the food color. And then I'm gonna put when my eight drops out, in. Maybe the color is better now. Okay. Did you add some more to it? I added some red food color, and I think I actually like it like this. Do you like it like this, or should I add some more or some um, blue? I'm gonna say what it looks look no, like it look good. It look yeah, that, that looks good. So I'll let you finish yours, and then we can right. pour it over the cupcake. Now, one thing you did not tell me is that when you fool with your food dye, that it'll stain your hands. You know. What oh, I mean? uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, and my video yeah, I got red hands. Yeah. Sam Raw <laughs> said, "Cooking changes change his life, huh?" So here it is, right here. Uh, someone is saying the volume is low. Huh? Hey, what's up? Uh, hey, Mad Dog, you gotta see uh, BGQ. Kitchen and grill. You say my volume is low? I think so. Is it only A B volume or mine as well? Mm, mine seems like it's pretty loud. There it is. Now as you see, now I got two. Just that simple. Now I'm gonna take the one that I just made. Now, the reason I brought up the part about, you know, about it staining is because I'm working right here. Hey, what's up, Daddy Cooks? Mr. Phil, let me hit you with your government name. Jay Wade, go in on it. Oh, Soul Food Cooking say the volume is good. Hey, Mad Dog, there's something in on, on your end then. Yeah. Okay, so look, talking about staining, this is my good cutting board right here. I don't want to put none of that food color on here. You know what I mean? <laughs> so let me figure it out. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to. Hey, that's what's up, man. Thank you. Appreciate that. You, know, you can just add some baking paper or uh, cling film. Cover it. Huh? Or you can do it on a plate or add, um, yeah, or kitchen towel. AB, can you tell me what's that uh, syrup? Not the corn syrup, but the other one that you use. Is it chocolate or yeah. what is it? Hershey's chocolate. Nice. Yep, just so like syrup. Like Do you guys have that in Germany? No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, hey, Daddy Cook, hey, you like <laughs> me. They pay me to come up with solutions. Hey, you right, but check this out. I came up with this one. Paper plate. Yeah. Hey, Phil, I don't know how long you 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 uh been in here, but look, this is the final result result right here. You know what I mean? So I'm just gonna show it. And listen, I wasn't even thinking, <laughs> you know, because a lot of things went south this morning. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to even get none of this out of here. <laughs> you know, none of my butter filling, my butter cream. Did you put it in the fridge? Yeah, I put it in the fridge. I should have took it out this morning, huh? <laughs> it's not going to work now. Yeah, you shouldn't put it in the fridge. Hey, you know what? Is I it got really? solutions. I'm going to, look, we're going to get it. I'm going to melt it a little bit with a little warm water. And then I'm going to decorate one what, of these. What you can do is, if you can get it out of the piping bag, uh -huh. um, in some bowl, and then put it over some warm water, because if you put it directly under water, it's just going to melt and it's going to be melted butter. Okay. So a little bit, if you're making butter cream, what you can do, I think it can be stored in room temperature. So I have mine, I made it this morning, but you can make it like, um, like some days. I think I will have to check it, but I think at least you can make it the same day. Then you can store it in like a container. And then you want to cover it. Because if you don't cover it, it's going to uh, form like a post on top of the butter cream. Mm -hmm. There's going to be like a sugar crumble. But if you freeze it or refrigerate it, it's going to be cold because it's butter. So it goes like really, um, really cold. So if you want to put it in the fridge, 
like a bit. You would want to get it out some hours before, and then you can whisk it again or rip it again, and it's ready to use. So you can refrigerate it, but then you will need time again for it to get to this kind of stuff consistency. You know what? That would have been a great idea. Look, I'm going to step away for a second and just run some of this warm water on here, see if I can't get it to loosen up just a little bit. I'm going to decorate one. Okay. While we do So I have the cupcake here. While you do that, I'm going to get my charger for my laptop. Okay. So, <laughs> hoping not to stain everything. And then I have a spoonful of the blood, and then you just kind of allow it to, um, or you just dribble it over your cupcake. And then you can add as much as you want. Some more. <laughs> when I decorate, it's always hard for me to stop. Like, I look at it and then I think, is it enough? Do I need to add some more? But that's how you add it. And then uh, if the cupcake is cold, well, the blood is going to set a bit faster. But if you want to serve them right away, then um, don't put them in the fridge because the buttercream will be really hard. And it's not that delicious to eat then. So I want the buttercream to be really fluffy and creamy and soft. I'm going to make another one. Okay. I keep on looking at my phone and I should actually look at my computer because, <laughs> because there is a little delay. So I thought you are not back, but you're actually back. So I'm just going to quickly show another one. Like okay, let's wait for the two minutes. Okay, so then, good. Hey, <laughs> and then hey, one hundred percent. Are you killing the game with that close up right there? <laughs> it's looking good. Yeah, I cannot yeah. see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks perfect. All right, I think I'm ready. Let me go ahead and get it all off. Hope I didn't have the water too hot. We're going to try to improvise right here. All right. Let me see your final result again. Oh, yeah. Where are your eyeball? You're not going to hit it over the eyeball? Yeah, I will. Just a second. All right. So then you have the... Now <laughs> my hands are also all stained with the... I should have the gloves on, actually. So, so people, <laughs> when you're working with food color, use some gloves oh. because... Hey, listen, they, I get so many people in the comments oh. tell me about, you know, maybe I should wear a glove, stuff like that. You know what I mean? Uh, hey, listen, you got to do you. I clean my hands. Look, been <laughs> cooking for years. No one ever gotten sick, so yeah. hey, but it will so protect you away from the from that dye, though. So I'm gonna add it. Busted up. George, Space Age three thousand. Not bad. So that's it. Not bad. Now look, don't <laughs> laugh at me. I'm getting ready. To, don't forget, I just tried to melt this buttercream, so it might not work out right. But I'm gonna go ahead. So don't laugh, Elisa. Hey, you got. Yeah, you want to going to do you. All right. I don't know if, if it's going to work, so I'm interested to see as well. All right, here we go. Thank you, Loretta. Great seeing you as well. All right, here we go. <laughs> yeah, my fingers are all red and black now because I've been coloring. Oh, it's working out. No, it's not working. It's still kind of hard. <laughs> you guys get the gist of it, though. Now I know that <laughs> it's in the refrigerator. Um, I should have told you. I'm sorry. No, it's all good. It's going to be fine when I get done with it, though. 
you still have, uh, I mean, you have the ones that are already decorated, so you can show those as well again. Yeah. For no, I'm going to show you this. I know it looked crazy, but I'm going to fix it. Mm -hmm. I got it. You know what we're going to do? Listen, I'm always bragging about what they, hey, I'm going to take a page out of Jay Wade's book. Hey, we finna roll with it. We just finna fix it like it's no problem. So now I'm gonna just take it like this. That's a good idea. Yep. Solutions. And you are showing a good way for those who don't have piping tips or don't want to oh, invest that's in piping right. tips. You know what? You absolutely right. Absolutely right. Now this look, this part right here, if you don't have it, you don't have to worry about how it goes on here or whatever. The main thing is you just want to get some white on here because it's going to make that blood pop. That's right. <laughs> hmm? That's right. Actually, you know, we were planning on adding something like this where we don't use the piping tip and show how to make them without the piping tip. So now you did it. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right. So I'm going to set these ingredients off to the side. So the blood was super oh, simple on my end. There's a good tip from soul food cooking. I'm going to really try that today because my hands, I don't know if you can see, but my hands are stained with like red food color. They're saying salt and vinegar is going to help to get rid of the food color. Thank you. Such a great tip. I'm going to try that and get my hands clean. <laughs> Oh, that glass looks so cool. I like these little small pieces too. The little shards. The smaller shards. I'm glad that you did the glass because I'm really uh, a hazard when it comes to smelting sugar and working with <laughs> with hot. <laughs> I'm glad you did that, so I didn't have to. The hard part is just finding the pieces that you like, you know, whatever type of look yeah. you're trying to achieve. All right. The ones that will look in the cupcake, look good on the cupcake. All right. Now we bring it back. Now this part real easy, obviously. It's just now you're coming down to your uh, to your decorating skills. Whew, it's nice and moist. <laughs> Kev, you still in here? Just the part you was waiting on. That would be cool, yeah. What is that? I was suggesting, let me see your wait list. The comments are on Valerie. I hope that's the right way to pronounce the name. I'm, not, I'm sorry if it's not too suggesting. It would have been cool to have the eyeball and the glass piercing through the eyeball. I think oh. it's really cool. <laughs> That would have been. So you can watch AB's video, you can watch my video, how to make the eyeballs, and then you can make that, and we would love to see those photos, because I mean, it would be so cool. <laughs> I think it's a really cool idea. Maria Brown. What's good, Maria? Glad you can make it. All right. So this part tricky. You know, the longer you let it sit up, it, it kind of like thickens up on its own. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I start off small, you know what I mean? Just a little bit. So you added the glass first and then you are pouring the, the blood over. Yeah. Oh, that's cool, Nikia. 
Are you planning some? What are you planning to make for the birthday? For the Halloween. For me. Nikia is saying her niece has a birthday on Halloween. Oh, hey, this would be cool. A Halloween theme party. Yeah, I think so too. And there you got. It. There you go. Real easy to make. Listen. If a dude like me can make these, I'm sure you guys can get out there and just do your thing. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to hold my own because, you know, uh, I got Miss Betty Crocker here. You know who Betty Crocker is? Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, okay. You know, I got to remember, you know, she's way out there in Germany. Some things I talk about, I can see it on her face. She's like, oh, I don't know what that means. <laughs> All, right. All right. So just okay. that easy. Then, you know, I put these right here. So don't forget, at 1130, my video going to drop. Uh, she's going to drop her video. And this is like the final, you know, the final uh, thing. You guys got any questions? You know, let us know. We can uh, come up with anything, answer any kind of questions or whatever you like to do. I can tell you one thing. When I run in that air, it's getting warm. Yeah. Hey, thanks, Jay Wade. Let's see, it's so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. And I just one more. There's one lonely cupcake, so I have to add some decoration on it as well. <laughs> Quick and easy one-on-one -on -one recipes. Hey, nothing wrong with that. You know, uh, hey, we brought, right, up on that, uh, we brought up on that term, better late than never, you know? <clears throat> so, look, I want to tell you guys, uh, I'm going to go ahead and let the cat out the bag. At least was supposed to be all dressed up. She's supposed to have a Halloween outfit on. But she found out that I didn't get my mask yesterday. It's going to come. I'm, I'm expecting the doorbell to ring any second now with Amazon. Look at that. Day late. Whatever happened to that two-day uh, that two day shipping? But anyway, what it is is uh, it didn't come. I was supposed to be dressed up in my Michael Myers, you know, my mask, my coveralls. And then she was supposed to be uh, Harley Quinn. She told me when yeah. we had, did a test run that she was going to do it. And then when I go live, I look at her, I see well, we don't have Harley Quinn. I guess she didn't want to like overdo me. I mean, I got it. I didn't want to be overdressed, <laughs> so I just uh, wore it. Right. No, that. You know what? Maybe I needed something like that. Yeah. To match. You know, we got all this blood over here. Nina yeah. Simon said, they would, uh, "What is that? I would love to have these uh, cupcakes for my twin baby's birthday on Halloween." So that's somebody else, right? I think so. Yeah. It's another birthday on Halloween. Hey, Ray Max, hey, what's the name of my cupcakes? I don't know. I should, hey, I should, hey, you know, you, hey, hey, leave it to Ray Max to stomp me. You got me, hey, I don't even know what to say. What kind of name? <laughs> hey, y'all drop some names for these cupcakes. You know what? Yeah, drop some names and tell me what you would call them. I don't know what I would call them. That's a good one, though. Space Age 3000. You want to know uh, how to cook turkey legs? You want a turkey leg smoke, grill, or a smoker? I'm going to just say it two ways. If you got the time, you can put them in the smoker. If you don't have the time, that would determine it for me. You're going to get about just, uh, you're going to get more smoke, obviously, in the smoker. You know, it depends on what kind of smoker you have. I got a large one. I got a video of me dropping this week. I just finally went outside and um, seasoned it. I had Kev over here and BZQ. Mad dog. You know what? They uh, helped me go ahead and uh, season this, this smoker I got out here. You know, this big, giant, vertical stick burner. <clears throat> so those videos are getting ready to come. And I want to tell you guys, listen, I know. Hey, Ray, it's going to be crazy because I'm big on, man, I got to get some, some, some grilling videos, right? Here's the thing. I know this time of the year ain't nobody looking for them, but I'm going to build my arsenal. And guess what? I live in California. We only got 28 days of uh, rain. And I got an awning. So I can get down and uh, start grilling right now. All right, look, I see you smiling. What do you want to say? Hey, you're making Lisa? me feel bad. What, what did you say? 28 days of rain? Yeah. I'm, I'm <laughs> we gonna... had already 28 days of rain. It's awesome. Oh, no, 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 no. No, they, they, they don't call this <laughs> sunny California for, for nothing. There's a great name for you from Daddy Cook. 
Cupcake Massacre. Hey, I like that. Right um, now, that's a front run. Hey, I, I actually like that, though. Cupcake Massacre. There it is right there, y'all. Cupcake Massacre. Great name. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like it. That's how my that one, like. That one's going to be hard to beat. Hey, if I, hey, you know what? Maybe I should have asked that before that. But, you know, uh, maybe I'll put that in pen in the number one comment, you know, when this video drops. Jay Everyone's Bay, liking it. Nikki. Oh, Nikia. Swift. She likes it. Valerie. Son hey, everybody seemed to like it. I don't know why my comments moving so slow. All right. Uh, what was I going to say? You know what? I had something. I'm going to just see if it'll work. Or I better not. You know what? We had a trailer. You know, we was going to play in the beginning of that. I'm using it in my uh, video also, but I don't want to, like, mess nothing up. Like I say, we barely got this show off the ground. We Like, in the last, we were down to, like, 120 seconds. Might even push uh, go live two <laughs> minutes late. You know what I mean? Yeah. Daddy Cook much. says, all be free of charge. Hey, Daddy Cooks, check this out. I thought about you because I was talking to Soul Food Cooking yesterday, and we going to an event. This event is going to be down in uh, Los Angeles called A Taste of Soul. You know what? That's going to be a cool little event. I went, checked it out on the internet. Man, it's like massive. You know, like a couple hundred thousand people going to be there. So I'm going to go there, walk around, taste food, and see what everybody got to offer. You know what I mean? And uh, swap stories, recipes, stuff like that. And hopefully, you know, I got the gift of gab, y'all. I could talk to anybody before you know it. I have a hairnet on. Uh, you know, I ain't shaving that, so I might have to have that hairnet on my on my go-to <laughs> down here. You know what I mean? But I'm going to be cooking something for somebody. Hey, that's right, Kev. <laughs> you going to make it, bro? <clears throat> yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing. I think that's next Saturday. And so I thought about you, Daddy Cooks, you know, just how you get out there, you network. You was out there breaking them cards off. Everybody was asking you. Hey, I like the fact that when somebody said, like, when you talk to them about your channel and they were looking for something, you're like, I got that. Let's look at it right now. So I'm going to take a little page out your book. Oh, where are my glasses at? Hey, you know what? I'm tripping too. Cause right now, well, you know what I did? I made everything big so I can see. But thank you. Those are my little Walmart specials. Now, let's talk about what we're going to be doing. Uh... Okay, look, we're going to do this once a month. She and I, at least. Someone, I. Someone's asking about the glass. Sorry that I'm interrupting you. Oh, good. Can you tell again what did you make the la glass uh, from? Beth is asking how did you make it? How I made it or how you made it? How you made the glass. Oh. Or it will be in the video, right? I would just say so this. She it's a little bit to tell you, but you only need a few ingredients. You're going to need the corn syrup. You know what I mean? You're going to need sugar, you know, and water. Okay, what you want to do is look at the video. It's going to release at 11.30. It's already already up. It's already on, on the schedule. It'll release. It'll show it. But I'm going to give you some tips right now. I said it in the video, but I think you need to hear it again. Listen, you got to, okay, look, when you start boiling, boiling your glass water, we're just going to call it the glass water, your sugar water, whatever. Once you start boiling it, it's going to change color just a little bit because it's going to start off clear. Once you see it turn a tint of brown, that's when you remove it from the heat and go ahead and pour it. And make sure that when you pour it on your pan, you spray it down with some pan, pan some kind of cooking spray. That helps. You know. Uh, it doesn't stick. Yeah, right. And then, uh, hey, the fun part was getting it to break because I have it in the pan. I hold it up. I just drop it on the counter and it shatters. After doing all yeah. of that, waking everybody up. I just went ahead and used the back end of my uh, butter knife to break it. But you want to, listen, you got to have some kind of thermometer because when it gets to 300 degrees, that's when it takes that tint. But if you don't have one, I mean, that's okay too. That just requires you to stand over the top of it and make sure that you don't get it. You don't go too far with it. Yeah. And have to be really, really careful, right? Because the sugar is super hot, so you don't want to touch the sugar in any way. Right, right. Like, right. not with your hands, not with... <laughs> Any anything. I burned my finger really bad with hot sugar once, so be careful with the sugar. Right, right, right. Right. Yeah. You know what? Treat it like hey, you know what? It's just like hot grease. Yeah. Now, 
Hey, li- okay, now I'm going to go back to, we were talking about, we're going to do this once a month. We'll probably do it for like six months. Just see how it go. This is our first time, you know, she and I interacting, you know, with everybody in here. Listen, we'll get better with answering comments. Uh, I'm going to fix her up so she can see her comments more so in uh, live time. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, we're going to go from there. But next month, since next month is going to be Thanksgiving, this was something like Universal. She was really big into uh, the Halloween, which I love it too. I'm nothing but a big kid at heart anyway. You know what? I just thought this was cool. But next month, we're going to go ahead and do a Thanksgiving theme. So, you know what? If you guys are in here right now, go ahead and drop what you want to see us make. I kind of like know what we're going to make, but I just want to see what you guys are like interested in. And if we can pull it off, listen, I think that show will be the show that we're going to do a little, you know, making, you know, so everybody can just see it. Yeah. More more of the cooking. Because as A.B. said uh, earlier, when we were thinking about making these cupcakes, we actually thought we'll show you everything, how to make the cupcake batter, how to make the cream. But then we thought it's not going to be fun for you to listen to our mixers running through the like half of the show, so we decided that you'll get the recipes anyway. So, like AB said, uh, his video will be up very soon. Really excited to see that, and uh, my video will be up later this week. So you guys will have time to go and watch those and not listen to those <laughs> mixers run for a very long time. So that's why this one is a bit different, right? And then next we will be cooking. Next time we will be cooking. Right. Look, we got a couple of suggestions in here. But right now people are just saying uh, they like it, like yummy, Thanksgiving recipes, candy coated. Hey, what's up, candy? Uh, what else do I see? Oh, I I saw co- oh collard greens <laughs> with neck bones. Here's the issue. If I do that, we got. I got to make sure that Alicia can get those ingredients because I'm not sure if everybody in Germany – where she at eating neck bones? In Europe. You know what I mean? You, you, <laughs> do, you, do they have neck bones we'll out there? It out. Huh? I'm you, saying we'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah, we'll figure it out. You know, uh, but you know what? The holidays is on its way. Uh, starting next week, I'm starting. I'm I'm turning the the, uh, the page into my holiday uh, repertoire. Hey, it's gonna be nice. Been looking forward to it. And uh, looking at the timer, we got about a, two minutes left. I'm just going to tell everybody in here, hey, thank you. Thank you for supporting us. You know, uh, don't forget, go by and check out her channel. After we finish this, listen, I'm going to show her how she can go live on her channel, too. You know, uh, hey, you guys got to go by and take a look. You know, save them baking questions, you know, for her. I mean, I can answer them. I can make only so many things. You know what, to be honest with you, I can make a lot of things. But you know what, she got to like a, a finesse with it. Uh, she good at what she does. And her photography, hey, Kev, you can chime in any time right here, buddy. Her photography is off the hook. You know what I mean? Uh, actually, she did something for me for my cookbook. You guys are going to see that soon as that's done. And, uh, hey, I appreciate it. They Really, I do. Don't forget to smash the like button. Go by there. Go by her page. You know, subscribe. Like her videos. You know, watch her. You know what I mean? Uh, she got a lot of tips. Hey, a lot of stuff that you see me doing, I take from her. Hey, I even got a mar- a sticky marinade from her. That that's, that's like my go-to right oh, now. So scared. Yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, you <laughs> don't know so this, but listen, I, I make that so much. You know what I mean? And uh, out there in, in in my condo in Texas, I got three oh. jars of it. You know what I mean? Just I make it, I make it in big batches, and I use it on everything. So listen, that, yeah, it's that's the what it is. Most comfortable I could get because thanks, when you man. said you were going to out, I was really scared. <laughs> I thought. You are, that's your thing, and I was really scared, and now you're going to try my barbecue recipe, and you're going to just <laughs> smash me down, say that has nothing to do with barbecue, and okay. it's the best compliment I can get, too. So, you know, I mean, that's you, the you were helping me with my cookbook, you know, doing some things like that, but I kept one page from you, but now I'm going to let the cat out the bag, because you're going to see it anyway. I think your marinade <laughs> might have made that cookbook, though. Hey, I, I'm just saying. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> but no worries thank you alright well that's it y'all hey you know what thank you I'm going to go ahead and show this one more time for anybody that came in here late you know what this is what I got go ahead and show yours Alicia listen we worked hard on it you know oh you got one eye and, and one with and one without huh oh there you go I'm going to ask the eyes <laughs> hey that looks like the cookie monster 
Hey, y'all. Hey, I, drop a seven I, in the chat right now and tell me that don't look like the Cookie Monster eyes. <laughs> like Thank you, scary. Valerie. Let me see. Nikita. It got the double K's. Nikita. Nikia. I, I see it as Nikia Swift. Yeah, you need that cookbook. Yeah, look, I got to get it finished. Hey, listen. Hey, he, hey, he, he more than welcome to come back. You know what I mean? Because, uh, like, like I say, Ray Mack, look, we did our first uh, the season. We did that. The seasoning is done. Now I'm finna just load it up with some uh, pork butts. You know what I mean? And uh, and give some. You know, I just give it away. It'd be way too much meat. But I'm gonna go ahead and get that in there and get some of that uh some of that moving around in there to help seal it. Also, and then after that, you know what? We finna uh, smash one of these briskets. Cause you know I didn't let everybody you know do their thing. A lot of times <laughs> I don't say nothing, but. Hey, I can make them too. Hey, Mad Dog make a great one. Hey, top, hey, top five uh, briskets I done had. I gotta say this, BGQ. Hey, yeah. Hey, he did that, bro. You know what I mean? Hey, we made both of them. We made them on his smoker or whatever. But hey, he got it down. You know, it's just a uh, just a matter of my time, matter of time. Me getting you know familiar with this, just trying to keep this heat steady. All right. And generous Barbie. G O N D. Ginger, I can make my party, nice. Okay. Hey, hey. I know you by your arm. Uh, I can tell. I, I see your face. I know who you are. What do you do? So, you guys know. I'm not going to take up all your time. You know, uh, it is Sunday. Listen, I'm about to go in here. Clean, first, I'm going to clean this kitchen up before I get beat up. And then, <laughs> and then once, blood, I get, right? <laughs> once I get this kitchen clean, then I'm going to sit down and uh, try to, you know, watch some of these games. Hey, thank you, guys. Look out for us next month. We're going to do something right around the same time. I think this was the second Thursday. I mean, the second Sunday. Maybe we'll stick yeah. with that. If it works with her schedule and works with mine, we'll do that. And then uh, absolutely, Daddy Cooks. Yep, you're right. Smoking tent, automatic. And uh, what we're going to do is keep try to keep up with the time and the date, the second uh, Sunday. And if that works out, we'll have that. Don't forget, it's going to be the Thanksgiving theme. We'll put something up. At the beginning of the month to give everybody a reminder so I can send it out to everybody. And uh, other than that, I must just say, hey, thank you. Uh, this has been. Uh, thank you so much. Also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? You wrap it up. You wrap I it up on your end and we'll go from there. Sorry? I said, you can go ahead and say your goodbyes. Okay. Uh, talk about I, I just wanted to say, I wanted to say something. There was, uh, Carla was asking if we could just let me find a comment. She was asking if we. Uh, could get a recipe if you could get a recipe first, and then uh, people could cook along with us. Would there be others interested in doing that as well? Like we we can plan the recipe beforehand and send it out if there's interest in that. Then yeah. you'll just have to have everything set up like we have, <laughs> and have the live show on. And uh, yeah, would would anyone be what? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> be interested in doing that so we would send out the recipe like maybe a week before we would share it somewhere we would decide that where we share it you can get the ingredients get your setup ready get everything ready and then you could cook with us so it's not going to be just me and AD but then you would be cooking from wherever you are well, you know <laughs> thank uh, you hey, to be honest with you that's an excellent idea but you guys got to remember, if you're going to cook along with us, that's going to require us to uh, make the dish, start on time, make the dish, and then uh, do a little yeah. cooking. So whatever it is, I mean, I don't mind. If you guys don't mind being in here just a little bit longer, but we can all participate. I think it's an excellent idea. If I can get an overwhelming and uh, Lisa's uh, good with it, I'm good with it. I could just tell by what you was reading and the way you nod in your head. And here comes the smile right now, I'm sure. There it I is. think they're saying yeah, yeah, yeah. they are liking the idea. So listen, if you guys <laughs> like it, you know, just let us know, and uh, we'll do that. But it's going to be uh, some full of recipes. It's going to be a recipe that, uh, so not something that needs to cook for an hour, two hours, three hours, because it's going to be a live show, and we don't want to bore anyone or right. starve anyone <laughs> because we are going to be hungry if we will be cooking for three or four hours. So. It would probably be a simple recipe, right, A.B.? So it's going to be something that we can make during the show. Well, you know what I was thinking? We can do it like the way we discussed about doing it this way. 
We can already make it prior to have a finished dish, but we can prepare it, put it on a stove or whatever we have yeah. to do, yeah. everything live. Thank you, sir. And then we can just come out of the oven with our prepared dish already. Same thing we did with the cupcakes. We can still do and that within an hour. There's nothing takes in oven. Right. Right. So you guys like that? Plus prep would be in. I think I think everyone is yeah. Everyone is liking it. So there's Daddy Cooks is suggesting um something that takes about thirty thirty minutes to cook. Right. So maybe I think what We'll put our heads together and then, you know, make sure you can get the ingredients. I'll find something that's uh, fairly simple, but it says, you know, Thanksgiving, you know, uh, hey, greens is real easy too. I'm surprised you're not yeah. growing those out there. Uh, hey, we're going to figure it out. Hey, but listen, I just want to say, hey, thank you guys. Don't forget to go by, check out her channel in the kitchen with Elisa. She's on YouTube. Same thing on Instagram. I think I ran into her on Instagram first, just watching that. And my first thing was reaching out like, hey, how can I get my pictures? I need my thumbnails to look like that. You know, she's uh, brought me along a long way. So if you guys want to know, there she is right here. Hey, soul food cooking, yeah. now you know my secret. Hey, everybody, hey, everybody <laughs> know. That's where I go to get my uh, my tips for the, uh, you know, for my, my videos. Then I ask my fam, you know, do they like them? She picks them, and then that's how we go with them. So, hey, thank you. Appreciate all that. Uh, Ray Mac has said uh, something to you. Uh, you know what? We want to work it in so that they be a little bit more interactive. You know what I mean? After maybe a couple I shows, maybe we can coming. put somebody else in here and have some, you know, guests along with us. We can watch you cook. You know, anybody interested in that, just let us know. You know, let us just get a couple of more shows through. She and I can go ahead and like, it's not like critiquing. We can just like help, you know, especially for the beginners and need some help. Uh, I can just tell you this. I always say, you know, my channel is about simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. But the key thing is, if you look at all my videos, it's I don't cook and look through my cabinets. If you line them all out, you get yourself some of these bowls. Yeah. The I thought so too that we can, all the prep can be done. So we will tell you what you need to do for the recipe. Cut everything ready so we can start cooking right away so we don't spend all the time. Chopping, 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 so everyone can chop everything ready, and then we just go into cooking uh, right away when the life starts. But we will talk about that with with AB, and then we will release the the recipe well on time, so that everyone has time to go shopping and get ready. Yeah, so we'll figure it out by the end of the month. We'll put it out about the first of the month. Give everybody almost two weeks, you know, to get their ingredients, yeah. and then we can just cook live. Hey, with that being said, listen, it's always hard to wrap these videos up. Hey, again, <laughs> I would just say, hey, thank you. Because listen, now, listen, I know what it is now. At least I can look at you now, and I can look at you when we first started. You settled in, and you're ready, huh? You're ready for another hour. You, uh, yeah, you're probably yeah, ready. To... I, I'm not nervous anymore. You guys have been so, so supportive. I, I mean, it has been so much fun to be here to talk with you. And thank you, Ray. Ray on making the cupcakes and AB, those cupcakes look amazing. They really look amazing. I love them and I cannot wait for the video to go up so I can watch it. I'm sure a lot of you guys will be also watching it <laughs> now when it goes live. So thank you so much and uh, we are really hoping to have you on the next show as well and maybe even cooking with us. Yep. Hey, uh, before I'm, I'm gonna wrap it up with this right here. Uh, lock his kitchen, lock it, lock it, lock his kitchen and grill. So <laughs> prep is key for sure. You know that even better than me. And then right there, uh, underneath that, soul food cooking, drop the link in the uh, in the kitchen with Elisa's Thank channel. You. So you Thank guys you. can just click on that. Easy way to just go ahead, take a look at the channel. I'm sure you 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 can't you can't look at it and not subscribe. And listen, she uh, answers her comments the whole shebang. So that's it. I'm done. I'm going to count this down from five to one, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, take it off. But I just want to say, hey, thank you guys for making it easy for making it easy for myself. because I haven't been live like this in a long time. So now we're going to turn up the lives. I'm back at the house. I ain't got no choice now. So, hey, it's going down. So with that being said, you guys, hey, thank you. And uh, we out of here in five, four, three, two, one.